hello hello my correct correct people how are you guys doing today what's happening at your side this is uh pink iv media and i welcome you very specially to our channel and please give this video a thumbs up click on that subscribe button and then share this video thank you very much and it's still about the royals the only of ife at this point hmm guys then they said the only of ife and queen naomi's mom they gave themselves serious uh, uh woto woto like they were just talking back at themselves because the only of ife was telling um uh, olori uh, naomi's mom that she why does she allow olori naomi to be relating with wurola that uh, Wurola is a bad influence to Olori Naomi at this point, and that uh, it will be uh, uh, good to remind you guys that I, I still have a uh, right to the own Olori Naomi, and I I can decide who to be that should be with her and who not to be with her, and therefore I am telling you guys now that the the way in which you guys are aligned the Olori sorry the Urola, to relate with Olori Naomi is something that I do not want at all, at all. And I want uh, that to stop instantly. I want it to stop. I do not want what is going on, even though Olori Naomi is not in the palace at this point. I should still uh, tell what uh, uh, should happen to her, who she should be with, and all of those things that only of if I kept saying all of these things to the Olori Naomi's mother. Hey. Hmm. And before even now, Sev, that made only to be saying all of these things, you guys know that uh, there is this covenant between the Oni of Ife and Olori Naomi concerning this period they got married to Olori Naomi that uh, the, 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 the things they did on her, it made Olori Naomi not to be able to be free. All this why that Olori Naomi has not been in the palace. Do you guys know that? We have all heard allegedly that with all this uh, absence in the palace, she's not able to go, uh, relate to anybody like man or be able to marry. If not, you guys trust now. Olori Naomi could have, as in, as a matter of fact, we, we used to hear that the different suitors have been coming from time to time. She's very young and, and she's a very beautiful woman. Many, many guys are, are coming after her at this point. But the only problem on ground is the fact that the only of Ife has refused to let this uh, young lady go. And then uh, this Wurola of a lady is someone who was once with only of Ife and then uh, the family of Olori Naomi has been seeking one way or the other to see to, to see that they bring Olori Naomi out of this whole mess that uh, Naomi have found herself. And then Wurola came to the picture because she has been there before. She has uh, experienced what uh, Olori Naomi has, is experiencing now. And then she, the way she, she was able to come out of it, she felt she should help her fellow woman so that she was to come, come out of it too. That was what made Urola to be close to Olori Naomi now, helping her and telling her some tips on what to do that she will be able to, to come out successfully from the hands of this uh, Oni of Ife. And you know that uh, the Oni of Ife has an informant here and there that always relates to him anything that happens around Naomi and around the Tadenikao, you know, in that family, you always put eye on them so much that any cough, anything that transpires there, he will just get to know and then he will start talking back to them in uh, Olori Naomi's place. And so that was what happened that made uh, Oni of Ife to be, he told, he said this one to the mother directly, telling the mother that why, as in, he felt disappointed for the mother to allow Rola to come and relate with Olori Naomi. And the mother at this point, because all of their mind have been poisoned, all their mind is spoiled already at this point. Nobody is happy concerning what Oni of Ife is doing anymore. They have been waiting patiently for him to free Olori Naomi, but no way. He is not even uh, showing any sign of, of, of freeing him, of freeing uh, Olori Naomi rather. And then the mother is really upset too. And then when uh, Oni of Ife spoke to the mother, they said the mother give it back to him. 
that who is he? Like, what does he mean? By telling him to want uh, uh, or to stay away from Murola, that how we, is he the one to dictate who uh, only uh, I mean uh, Naomi will stay with and who Naomi wouldn't stay with? Who is he that will have to dictate that? Uh, di uh, mm -hmm. dictate that whether Olori Naomi will relate to Urola or not. And the mother was talking back at the owner of Ife that he should not try that anymore. Am I correct? Correct people there. Eh? She's not a smart thing. They were the owner of Ife is taking this whole thing. Eh? Me, it is um, it, it amazed me oh, seriously because even the mother knowing the fact that as a mother the mother was telling only of Ife oh, that as a mother I will not see my daughter to come back to that your palace as it is messed up up at this point so no matter what you do it will not work and you cannot control me either not me either whether me or my daughter you, you cannot control us around again you don't have hand in her again the only thing that is only keeping you that you are still talking to us is because of the fact that you have not removed this thing from my daughter's head and henceforth do not come to control me again you should put an end to it and then the the only olori naomi's mother just was just retaliating to the only of fifa concerning the whole thing that the only of fifa was telling her so that's the gist of my correct correct people kindly drop your comment if you have one thank you